So if you have a cervical herniated disc, you may be wondering what are the ways that you can avoid surgery. Believe me, if I had a cervical herniated disc, I would try to avoid surgery. Not because it's a bad thing, but just because it's the right thing to do to avoid any type of surgery. So I would do four things. Number one is I would change my activity to avoid high impact activities involving the neck. Things like jogging, jumping, high impact aerobics, mountain biking, things like that that will continually compress the neck and bang that herniated disc against the nerve. Number two, what I would do is I wouldn't rush. I wouldn't rush into surgery unless I was having neurologic problems like progressive weakness, progressive numbness, or unbelievable pain. If I could, I'd wait this out because I know that 90% of the times this problem gets better on its own, but it can take 6, 8, 12 weeks. So number two is give it time. Number three is it's important to get someone involved with your care who's not a surgeon. But it's good for you to have another voice too. Someone who doesn't do surgery. It could be a physical therapist, it could be a neurologist, it could be your chiropractor. But you need some advice from someone who's objective and looking at you and saying to you, you know, I think you're getting better week by week. I think you can hold off. Or someone to say to you, listen, you're terrible. You've got to get this treated with surgery. The fourth thing that I would do is I would use medication. A lot of people I see who have severe pain from a herniated disc don't take medicine because they don't like medicine. Let me tell you, this is the time to use the medicine. This thing hurts. And if it hurts you really bad, you're going to be crabby, you're going to be upset, you're not going to be sleeping, and that makes you more susceptible to the pain the next day. So you've got to take the medicine, you've got to sleep. Too much medicine is not good either. You have side effects from the medication. It could be fatigue, it could be constipation, it could be drowsiness. But to some degree, you have to use medication to try to relieve the symptoms, which will buy you time, and hopefully you get better with the time. So in summary, here are the four things. Number one, change your activity so you eliminate all high-impact activities or anything else that produces pain in the neck or down the arm. Number two, give this thing time to get better on its own. Number three, get a second opinion from a non-surgical practitioner. And number four, don't be afraid to use medication to get the pain down so you can buy time and allow this to heal on its own.